Hi, Aaron. How are you doing today? I'm all right. You all right? Yeah. There's been some changes in my life, but, um, yeah. Good changes? Eh, not really. Not really? Yeah. What kind of changes? You know, just, you know, you know I lost my job, so mm -hmm. things are kind of... you know, domino effects from that, so. So there's been consequences from losing your job? Yeah, I mean, obviously. That's, you know, you have a job, mm -hmm. so you can take care of certain things, so. Yeah. Like what things? Like, you know, like paying your bills, and that's pretty much it. I guess that's really why most people have a job. So you, you've been unable to pay your bills? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How's your mood overall? I mean, what can I say? I lost my job. I'm seeing you because I have a drinking problem, so things are not that great. Things are not great? No. Uh, tell me about the drinking now. How's it been going? I drink a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I always say to myself that I'll try to drink less, but at this point it's kind of like, what have I got to lose, you know? Are you drinking more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot more? Yeah, I mean, not a lot more. I mean, I guess I have more free time now, so. Because of... Not yeah. having a job. Mm -hmm. What effects do you think that you're experiencing because of the increased drinking? I don't know. I don't know. Are you feeling good about the drinking? At this point, it's kind of like. Who cares? Like, what difference does it really make, you know? Mm -hmm. So you're indifferent towards, towards yeah. drinking? Yeah. When you're drinking, does it still feel good? Nothing really feels good. No? Does it just get you back to normal? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. When was the last time you drank? This morning. And how much? A lot? I don't know. You don't recall? No. Is that... Is that typical? I mean, I don't, I don't recall you drinking on the same day that we've had sessions before. I mean, at a certain point, it's like, you know, difficult to wake up and not have a drink, like to get through the day. So, yeah, I mean, I just drink as much as it takes for me to function, and I don't really know how much that is. Like, I don't sit there and count it like, these are my three shots for the morning. I don't, I don't know. Like, I get up, I drink some to make me feel better. Mm -hmm. I keep some alcohol by my bed because... It's hard when I wake up in the morning, like, it's just really difficult to, like, get out of bed without having a drink. So I'll drink some then, you know, and just to function. So I don't know how much. I don't know. But you feel as though it's worsened, like you're drinking more. Yeah. What would you say your attitude toward the increased drinking is right now? I'm pretty indifferent. Like I said, I mean, I just don't. I don't, at this point, it's like, what does it matter? Like, everything else has, I don't so know. So, a couple of times you've indicated that you're indifferent toward it, mm -hmm. right? And why I'm curious about that is because that's not been the way that you've appeared before. You appeared before to be unhappy that you were, you were drinking. And now it's more or less something that, you don't have strong feelings about one way or the other. 
I guess I just don't know why I should keep suffering and like making myself suffer. So the drinking takes away the suffering? No, the feeling bad about the drinking makes me suffer. Feeling bad about the drinking? And yeah, I mean, yes, the drinking takes away the suffering, but that's not what I meant. Mm -hmm. So feeling guilty about drinking, that's what's causing you problems. That, I mean, I don't know if that's what's causing me problems, but at this point it just seems pointless to keep making myself feel guilty about it, is what I'm saying. How would you like to feel about it? I would like to not... I would like to be happy. I would like to not drink. I would like to have a good life. But at this point, I'd rather just... I don't know. Like, why should I keep feeling guilty about it? What is the point? Like, what is the point of this life where I have no job and I'm going to lose my house and, you know... I just don't get it. Like, why do you want me to keep feeling guilty about my drinking when everything else is not working? It's not working. And so I'm just supposed to, like, keep trying. I don't get that anymore. I don't get it. So you no longer understand the point of life? Yeah, I mean, yeah. As it is, like, this just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why should I keep fighting to be sober if I can't, you know, I lost my job. It's too late for that. Like, the whole point of coming to you is to, you know, have a better life. Things are getting worse. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying, like, what's the point of this if it's not getting better and things are getting so bad that even if I was sober, I wouldn't be able to handle it. So, what do you see as your options right now? I don't know. Can you tell me about some of the things you've been doing recently? Like in the last three or four days? Sitting at home drinking? Mm-hmm. That's about of, it. A lot of drinking. Anything yeah. else? Going to the liquor store. That's about it. I mean, seriously. It's just funny. Like, I don't even... There is nothing. Yeah. Now, I know you were working on a few things. Like, you were working on finding another job. Mm -hmm. Have you been doing that? No, not really. I mean, I'm going to lose my house, so I'm just biding my time until that happens. I don't really know. Like, ha yeah. Uh, no. I'm not looking for a job, no. And so you stopped looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And when are you losing your house? I don't know. It's it's hard to tell, you know, with the banks and everything, but it seems like it will be soon. And what's your plan for when that happens? I don't have one. You don't have one? No. Now, before we've talked, and I haven't seen you in a while, you're always pretty careful about planning things out. I've just decided that I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I can't. I just can't do it anymore. You can't worry anymore? Yeah. My whole life is just full of worrying. I mean, there's nothing to do except to worry about all of it. You know, my job, my drinking, my house. So what do you see as your alternative to all this worrying? There is no alternative. So what do you do? You don't know? I sense this time you're much more negativistic as compared to when I've seen you before. Do you recognize that as being the case? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, markedly so. Yeah. Like, I feel like things have taken a turn. 
Can you tell me about that churn? I don't know, I just feel like, you know, I'm losing my house, I lost my job, I don't really have anything that needs to be gotten in order. Got in order for what? Just, you know, in general, like, I don't know, in my own life. Like, if something were to happen to me, there wouldn't be anything that needed to be taken care of. What's going to happen to you? Like if I died. If you died. If you died, nothing would have to be taken care of? I mean, like... I mean, they'd probably have a funeral, but, you know... Right. My house is gone. My job is gone. My drinking will be gone. Would your uh, family miss you? I don't really care. Mm. Even still, do you think they would miss you? Maybe. I mean, in their own way. They probably would have wished that they would have done different things differently. Yeah. But that's not my responsibility. What's your responsibility right now? <laughs> Nothing. 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 I mean... Hmm. So, no one would... Correct me if I'm wrong. No one would care if you died? I mean, they probably care a little, but do I care if they care? No. Right. So they care a little, but you're not concerned with that. And you have the sense that you have nothing left to lose because you lost the job and now soon your house do you have anything else that you care about any goals I used to how about now What happened to your goals? I drank them away. I lost my job. I lost my house. You know, I was thinking maybe I could find myself a new job, but at this point, I'm just so far gone. Like, my life is so ruined. I don't know how you could expect me to come back from this. I don't know how you can expect me to live a life how to pick this up and make something of it, like... How to redeem yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't see a way to do that now. No. I mean, come on. Because all the things that happened to you overwhelmed you? I don't know. I mean, happened to me, did to myself. Mm -hmm. Um, it just at this point, it's like I've lost so much of what I worked for, and I don't have one scrap of dignity or anything at all. I don't have anything. You don't have anything. You don't have any worth. Worthless. That's how you're feeling. Yeah. Alone. Worthless, yeah, like nothing, there's nothing redeemable, there's nothing I can build upon. So you've lost everything, you're worthless and you can't be redeemed. So of all the time I've been treating you, this is the most severe I've seen your hopelessness. Would that be accurate? This situation is more dire than I ever thought that I would have to experience. 
You know, when I started seeing you, I thought, this is as bad as it can get, and I have to fix things now, or, you know, I, I can't go on like this, like I can't, this is as bad as my life can get, and I cannot let it continue to get any worse, but things have gotten worse, and, yeah. Aaron, have you been thinking about ending your life? Are you hesitant to tell me that? Why is that? I guess a lot of reasons. Um, I know that we have worked together and I don't want you to feel like you failed. Mm -hmm. I really don't want you to try to do anything because I feel like nothing that you have tried has worked. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a hopeless case and I feel like at this point it shouldn't even be your responsibility to try because it's not fair to you anymore. And I don't know. I just. Are you planning on ending your life? Like you have, you have a plan in place? Yeah. Can you tell me about the plan? I don't really want to talk about it. But you have a plan. You don't want me to interfere in your plan. No. No, obviously not. But you're aware that I'm going to try to interfere with your plan. I get I guess so. You mentioned um, earlier that you just, I mean, it sounds like what you're saying is you've hit rock bottom. And rock bottom can't be tolerated. And your family would care if they lost you, but you're indifferent to that. Right? I would care if you died. All right, I'm going to do everything I can to prevent that. It's hard to see when you have thoughts of worthlessness. It's hard to see strengths. But I see somebody with strengths. I see a young lady that over the last few months has told me all kinds of strengths, all kinds of situations where you've been resilient. You recall those conversations? Mm. But that's not in the forefront of your mind right now, your strengths. But they're still there. Do you have an intent to commit suicide? And you don't want me to stop you. I'm going to stop you. All right. I want to, I'm obligated to, and it's really the best thing to be done, is to prevent it. I know you feel this way now, and I know I can't fully understand that, but I'm fairly sure that you won't feel this way a week or two from now. Right? Feelings of worthlessness, Feelings of hitting rock bottom, they cycle just like all feelings. Right? You've had ups and downs before. Remember? I see somebody with a long and productive life ahead of them. 
and suicide's not it's not the answer. I know it seems like the only option right now. I get that. But there are still some other options. Does that make sense? I know you probably don't want to hear about other options. I think what we should do today is uh, get you over as an impatient. All right? And they'll probably keep you for five, ten days and kind of work on getting your mood stable. My guess is when you come out, you'll feel differently on this subject. Right? You'll feel a little better. Maybe build a little better place where we can continue. And we will. I'll see you. We'll schedule, so I'll see you the, uh, on the day or the day after you come out. All right? Preferably on the same day. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Are you disappointed that I'm trying to save your life? Yeah. You understand why I'm doing it? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to walk you over to one of the other counselors, and I'm going to make some phone calls, and we'll get you over there, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks, Aaron.